Mr. Funk's geometry class just wrapped up their study of ratios with a hands-on bridge building design challenge. This morning, students put their bridges to the test. Mr. Funk prepared a space out on the back deck behind the Macintosh Center for the Arts and Sciences. Each bridge was placed between two elevated cornhole boards. Mr. Funk then tied a bucket to each bridge and began pouring water into the bucket. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it correct. And... Oh, 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 oh. In this particular design challenge, students were tasked with designing and constructing bridges made out of only popsicle sticks and glue. They started out in the makerspace with Mrs. Miller with a short problem-solving activity to get their design started during Maker Week. Each team had to incorporate different geometric shapes within their structure, including three different triangles and three different quadrilaterals. The objective was to build the lightest bridge that could hold the most weight. Students spent a few mornings in the makerspace constructing bridges during math class. It was a perfect setting for them to collaborate and create, often exploring multiple different designs just to tear them down and start over. Some of the teams entered two bridges with different designs to see if there was a difference. They came up with some creative models using engineering elements of real-world bridges, including truss, beam, and cantilever bridges. Each bridge was weighed before the activity. They tested their bridges by seeing how much weight each bridge could hold. Mr. Funk would slowly pour water into the bucket to determine the strength. After each bridge collapsed, the bucket of water was weighed and the data was recorded. After all of the excitement, students headed back to the classroom where Mr. Funk tied together the activity with a real-world example of his passion, bicycles, and explained how the strength in frames is expressed in ratios. They then got to work on the formula to determine the winner. Interestingly, the strongest bridge that held the most water was not the winner. This is your winner. Oh!